put a buttock where the rescued, transformed, and vindicated gets real on Butt Talk. Today, I am your host, Christine Clark, and with me is Angela. Way I go. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Hi, good morning. How are you? I am tired, but I'm blessed. Awesome. You're looking lovely, though. Thank you very much. It's good to have you with me this morning. And it's a pleasure to be with you. It's awesome. Oh, I want you to be as comfortable as you can. Oh, yes. Relax, breathe, and just let's talk. Let's have this discussion. Okay. I'm ready when you are. All right. So I want you to tell us um, four things about yourself. I am a very compassionate person mm -hmm. I love people mm -hmm. I love the Lord awesome and I enjoy just being in good company awesome you know what I picked up from all of those four things that you have stated you said you love the Lord I do and I, do. I think that's an that's an attribute that all of us should strive to to love the Lord so since you said you love the Lord, I would go further to ask you, what do you believe is the foundation of truth? Foundation of truth is the word of God. Okay, so you believe that the, the foundation of truth is the word of God. Yes. Okay, awesome. So permit me then to ask you this question. Which scripture is your favorite scripture and why is it your favorite scripture? Uh, there's so many. One that comes readily to mind is, I think it's Saint Matthew 19, verse 28, which says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. I deem myself a good person. Mm -hmm. If I may say so, mm -hmm. but having accepted Christ as my personal Savior mm -hmm. and getting to know Him more, that just brings out a lot of who I am. Okay, awesome. brings out a lot of who I am. Awesome, and I and I I truly understand that, and I can attest to the fact that. It's the best thing that have happened to me when I was encouraged to enter the house of the Lord. So I, I share that one with you. So uh, may I ask then, were you born in the church? In the churches, a Church of God member, so a first day worshiper. Okay. My mother and dad and was? The, yes. Okay. But um, when I was 13 years old, mm -hmm. I learned of the Advent message mm -hmm. and I went out amidst many perils because yeah. I had to do my chores every day, mm -hmm. Sabbath morning, do everything I used to do. My mother never stopped me, my parents, but mm -hmm. I had to complete everything that I had to do before I could go to church. Okay. And so after school Friday evening, mm -hmm. I would hurry home to go do most of what I had to do, but there were certain things I had to do Sabbath morning, being mm -hmm. the oldest child at home okay but i did it and i i made sure i did them and i got to church on time and i found the advent message <coughs> okay so that means you're you're basically saying you learned to live that principle from a tender youth age 13 years old okay. that day i can never forget okay awesome that that is great and it sets the tone for us when we become adults how yes. we live our lives okay with that said, I I would like you to tell me a little about yourself before you became a member of the church or before you accepted God. Before I accepted Christ, as I said, I was born in the church mm -hmm. and um, then that's what I knew and mm -hmm. I practiced living, loving the Lord there. I was not an outgoing person. Mm -hmm. 
and he used to like staying hanging around my mother and hanging around the home. She worked from home, mm -hmm. and so I had a lot to do. I would do that to make sure my schoolwork was okay, my siblings were fine, mm -hmm. and um, basically that's who I am. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. So after now we're gonna talk about the butt factor and the butt factor which is god so that's what you were but how having accepted god how was that impactful moving forward i you know going to the sunday church you know you have you go special days it was not set in 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 stone that you had to go every sunday mm -hmm. or certain things you would go places and do as you please mm -hmm. on sunday if you had a funeral to go a wedding or whatever mm -hmm. then you would definitely go and it would be all right mm -hmm. but when i learned the truth and i accepted the advent message i realized that you had to follow precepts mm -hmm. you had to be mindful of what you do on the sabbath mm -hmm. you had to it changed my whole perspective on life okay my entire perspective on life i realized that i could just get up and go somewhere sabbath morning mm -hmm. that was not in the plan the rest plan of god and so my own it was like a 180 degree turn oh so it was I revolutionary to, for you definitely okay i couldn't wear certain things i couldn't eat certain things i couldn't do certain things mm -hmm. on the sabbath and um I, I became more obedient. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Um, so now I want you to tell us, is there any specific thing that you can point out in your life to say, I was here, but the birth factor, which is God, brought me here, a miracle, an experience, whatever. Um, after being with so many, so many of them, mm -hmm. And um, just before I accepted the Advent message, mm -hmm. I used to like going to the river mm -hmm. where we live, the community we had a river nearby. And I almost lost my life. Mm -hmm. I almost drowned. Mm -hmm. My mother, you know, mothers and fathers, but mommy is always the one to say, don't do this. and. Daddy's on out to work, etc. And she told me never to go by that river or the pond without adults being there and someone who can swim. Mm -hmm. But I didn't listen. I just love water. Even to this day, I love water. Mm -hmm. And it forced me to learn to swim okay. because I almost lost my life. Mm -hmm. I fell in there and I didn't know how to swim then, but. Mm -hmm. I was kept afloat mm -hmm. by the angel provided for me by the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so after about an hour in there by myself, everybody gone, didn't even realize. I mm -hmm. turned back to get something, slipped and went into the pond. Mm -hmm. And everybody had gone. And um, the lady who owned the property was a friend of my mom's. Mm -hmm. She normally get water from there mm -hmm. to feed the, the chickens and so and so happened that she came by. Okay, all your artists were still watching Butt Talk. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. And um, she came by to fetch some water. Mm -hmm. And she said, coming down, she saw this black thing in there. She said, wait a minute, people always talk about mermaid and fish and whatever. Mm -hmm. And she was wondering if it, she was actually yeah. seeing one. Mm -hmm. So she came closer. I couldn't speak because the water was in my mouth. and I. Would, as I said, it's only the angel that kept me afloat and mm -hmm. prevented me from being drowned. And she came close and she saw the head and she looked, she realized it was me. And she screamed and she used a stick, a piece, I don't know if it's a line stick or a broomstick, and mm -hmm. she put it in there, mm -hmm. put it in the pond and tell me to hold on to it. Mm -hmm. I was now weak because being in the water for mm -hmm. so long. But the Lord gave me the strength and held on to the stick. Mm -hmm. and she pulled me out thank you jesus we serve a mighty god amen 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 and 
that happened in my when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. But there's so many other incidents mm -hmm. since I became an adult. But the Lord, I've had prayer, prayers being answered instantly. Mm -hmm. Instantly. And I know there must be someone greater. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you one short one. Mm -hmm. I was in a financial situation mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. I had to pay a bill mm -hmm. that day. Mm -hmm. And when I checked the account, the bank account, I had a part of the money. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where I was going to get the rest from. And I had to pay it that day. Mm -hmm. And um, that was the due date. Other than that, I would have lost mm -hmm. a lot. I remember praying. I said, Lord, I don't know what to do, where to turn, who to turn to, but I must get this money. Mm -hmm. And I went and I knelt down mm -hmm. and I prayed. And before the prayer was done, before I finished praying, mm -hmm. my phone rang, mm -hmm. my cell phone. And I finished my prayer and I picked up the phone. I had to call back the person. And I dialed back the number. It was a friend of mine who was in a situation, came to the United States and needed some money mm -hmm. to help with her documentation and stuff. And I took the money that I had and I loaned it to them. It was. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me sit up in my chair. Yes. It was about three years, mm -hmm. two and a half, almost three years since I lent the individual, the money, mm -hmm. that family. And she would call from time to time on her husband and say, we're still mm -hmm. straightening out things. We're not able to pay you the money mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. But that day when she called, her husband had just come back from Jamaica, gotten their papers, went back home, mm -hmm. and they rented their house, and he collected the money in US. Mm -hmm. And she said, the first person that came to mind mm -hmm was me she wasn't able to pay me all of it mm -hmm. thank you jesus but the amount she was but giving what me, did you just say but okay amen mm -hmm. the amount she had put aside to pay me on the bill that she owed me was yes. exactly mm -hmm. not a penny more not a penny less than what i needed to put on up to pay my bill yes that's the but god that we serve but god in spite of your situation you're saying but god came but through for you came right through. on time right there before my prayer was done mm -hmm. sister chris i was actually i, I called back the front and I, I told you it was ringing and i had to call her back because it cut off because mm -hmm. i wouldn't cut my prayer to answer the phone mm -hmm. and she said to me do you have cash up or zell or whatever mm -hmm. i said yes Mm -hmm. She said, all right, tell me where to send it. Mm -hmm. And believe me, I told her. And I, when she said, she said, I'm going to send it right now, Sister A. The bank is just a little way from, I, mm -hmm. I can't walk up there. Mm -hmm. And I said, yes. And I took up my car keys and my pocketbook. Mm -hmm. And I headed towards Wells Fargo Bank. Mm -hmm. And when I drove up. Mm -hmm. I sat down in the car first. Mm -hmm. I said, thank you, Jesus. I didn't even get to pray. I said it, but I didn't pray to him because I was anxious and it was getting late and mm -hmm. I needed to get it. Mm -hmm. And so I went and I put the card in and the money was there that she sent for me. I was able to take it mm -hmm. and to pay the bill. And mm -hmm. that is instantaneously mm -hmm. that happened. That's the mighty God we serve. That's but it. God, in spite of in your spite situation of and what is happening, but God, God saw yeah. beyond your need and he fixed it. You only right had right. to ask. Only That's to a ask. mighty God. It's a mighty, mighty, God. mighty, mighty Amen. God that we serve. And I tell you, he has come through so much for me that nothing, mm -hmm. nothing, no one, nothing mm -hmm. is going to steal that joy. Amen. Praise the Lord. We serve a mighty God. In the final moments of this um, talk, I want you to look in that camera over there and somebody out there somewhere who is watching, why would you encourage them 
to come on the path that you are on or to walk on the path that without, you walk without on. any hesitation mm -hmm. i would say try jesus mm -hmm. the but god he came through for me he has come through several times mm -hmm. he has never disappointed mm -hmm. but one is a god that cannot change mm -hmm. cannot lie mm -hmm. and what he says he will do Amen. And we only have to be faithful mm -hmm. and trust him mm -hmm. and he will come to us. I would encourage any and everyone out mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. to try Jesus. Amen. We've talked today with Angela Ares. She brought us her story. What is yours? Hit us up. Make your comments below. If you want to share your story, leave a comment. We'll get right back. To you thank you for watching see you next time on but talk as we talk about the but factor which is god but god saw beyond my needs and fixed it before i asked him thank you for watching see you next time bye 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 bye, bye. bye.